Good morning. Uh, I also want to um, say thanks for the invitation. It's very, it's very important for me, for my colleagues to be in Istanbul in this, in this event. I really like the, the city and the people, so it's a way to and the honor to be here today. Uh, the, the, the topic that uh, asked me to present is um, around the idea of centers and peripheries. And um, in the metropolitan area of Lisbon. And uh, why and why I uh, answer uh, so enthusiastically to this uh, challenge because I really like to work in periphery. I really like to work in suburbs. I really, I really like to work where people live in. And when you look to, uh, this is a city, this is a center, the downtown of Lisbon. But if you look to the city, as you can uh, understand after the, the first presentation, where the people living in metropolitan metropolitan area of Lisbon, it's not in Lisbon. It's around Lisbon. So we should work, we should improve the, the space where, where uh, the people are living. Also, of course, where activities exist, I understand, but uh, for me it's very important to act, to plan, it, to, to make interventions, qualifications in the, the periphery. So uh, the, 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 the main concern, if you want, for me in this presentation, it's all, not only to, to talk in, about centrally periphery in the metropolitan area of Lisbon, uh, but also um, the objective is to to give you the idea that the centers and peripheries are not the same. The centers are not equal. It's not the center you uh, immediately know what is the center. Maybe not. Maybe you can have different kinds of centers, different kinds of dynamics. So it's important to dismantle this idea of a unique center and also, maybe more important, to look to the periphery is not only a unique entity, but as a different kinds of profiles, different kinds of peripheries. And it's important to have this distinction because if not, if you don't make these distinctions, the tendency is to, to act for all periphery at the same way. And it's not a good, a, a good um, option because we have many and deeply different inside of each uh, topic, centers and periphery. So it's important to, to think in a way to distinguish different parts or different dynamics, different profiles inside of each uh, area or territory. And this is this is my my ambition for this presentation. It's only it's only a proposal. We can make a lot of others, and uh, I work in others others proposals. But for this day, maybe we can discuss or we can reflect about the proposal that I want to show you. So this is the metropolitan area of Lisbon, as you have seen also before. Uh, it's a very simple way to, to present the area. It's not the limit, administrative limits, but the uh, borders, but uh, it's inside of this area, more or less, we have all the, the, the area. So my, my, my presentation structure uh, cover these different topics. I really love my calligraphy, sorry. So, uh, <laughs> I want to show you my, my uh, So, what, what are the, the main idea? It's to have centers, of course, but transform the idea of peripheries in a kind of other thing, polarities. Peripheries is not only marginal, something that we never want to talk or work, etc. But maybe we can transform the idea of, um, of uh, 
peripheries of the bird in polarities. Of course, different kinds of polarities. And we, have, we can have positive polarities that during the day attract and the night expel. Uh, and I'm talking about the day. And also, I can have negative polarities that expel people or activities. Inside of each one, we can have a lot of different things and different kinds of use of the space with facilities, business, shopping, shopping centers, for example. So all of these attract in the periphery. Uh, so the periphery or the suburb not only expel people to work in the city center, also can attract. And it's important to have this in mind. But also we can, maybe we can have another another type of dynamics, not only dynamic in decline, maybe in maintaining or something, but uh, just to uh, facilitate the discussion, I, I use the opposite uh, concept. And for the negative, also, I, I made the distinction between the, the, the negative polarities force it, because people don't have money or other conditions to buy housing or to have an activity in other place, so they need to go to some place in the periphery. So they are forced to go to some places in the suburbs. Uh, but also, in the same place, in very, maybe very, very close each other, we can have the voluntary. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, and we can distinguish different kinds of typology in this forced periphery and not so like uh, I can immediately I cannot uh, have uh, uh, different ideas for the voluntary but maybe we can find more and also the same idea between dynamic and decline, dynamic and decline. And finally, some reflection around the possibility if inside of each um, typology, if we can have some changes between the, the main, the main uh, classes, the main types. I don't know. Maybe we can uh, reflect um, at the end the possibility of change between the, the, main, the main types. So, the, the, the first idea is what is the center? What is the urban center, a metropolitan center? And sometimes we can add some or make some mistakes. Uh, some, we, we can call center to a thing that is not really a center. And for me, a center it's a, it's a place or it's an area, it's a territory world where everything happens. Everything. Not only attract people, only to work and to shop. For me, it's not a real center. For me, a center is it's a place that can attract people, that can expel people to work in other places. People living here and working in, inside. People living inside and working around or shopping around or concern cultural things or objects around. So it's a very dynamic place where we can find a very complex relation between housing, um, facilities, employment, activities, etc. And very permeable, uh, very connect with the, the, the the external uh, and the surrounds. So for me, it's a center. <coughs> for polarity, it's, uh, sometimes seems a center, but uh, it's important to have in mind this distinction because it, at the end we can make some reflections about how center can uh, transform in polarity or polarity can transform in uh, 
city center or metropolitan center. So the negative polarity, this is the, the, the place that expels people uh, to people and activities to go to outside and the, pol the positive polarity uh, can attract uh, people and, um, uh, that living outside to work inside. And very interesting, we can have these two areas very, very connect, very, very close in the, the same place. So, uh, but don't form a center. They maintaining like a polarity, different kinds of polarities in the same place during the, the day. Because if you look to the night, it's of course the contrary. People return to their housing and people go also to their housing because they need the place where they work or they shop or etc. So this is the, the basic concept to, to understand my idea or my my way, my visions to look to the metropolitan area. Okay? This is only a proposal, it's not it's not a dogma, it's not a paradigm, but it's, it's a way to to preconcept the, the, the map that I can also uh, present you today. So, very, very uh, quickly, the, 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 the first I need to talking about center and centers dynamics. So, centers that appear to have conditions to amplify their their dynamic, their importance in the metropolitan. Sorry. Okay. Uh, an example. This is Lisbon. This is the downtown of Lisbon. This is the the east part of uh, Lisbon. In the past, this part. <coughs> sorry, because the, the north is not for the, the same place, but uh, I for me it's a, a better idea. This is the airport. Uh, this is the world industry, all these uh, acts, it's a, a world industrial uh, part of the Lisbon, of the city of Lisbon and the metropolitan area. And uh, in 98, we have like a very large intervention in order to transform a world brownfield in the new urban and metropolitan centrality uh, using the, the, the tool that maybe and uh, now it's, uh, it's, it's very common to use the, the big events like football or uh, world exposition, etc., to, 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 to build this transformation. And this is what we uh, have made with the uh, uh, world exposition of 1998. And so in this old brownfield, uh, now uh, we have like a, a new urban centrality and metropolitan centrality with a very, very multifunctional um, use. And so maybe we can, this is here, so this is the city of Lisbon, and this is in the border uh, uh, between the Lisbon and Lourdes, this is another municipality in the east and north. Uh, and what we have now, after the exposition, a lot of housing, shopping um, uh, facilities like uh, courts for law courts and uh, uh, Vodafone uh, company, the headquarters, and a lot of different things. Uh, public space, so we can move to this area like a new metropolitan center. And in this, um, now attract different kinds of people and activities and touristics and cultural events, etc. So it's an example that I want to show in a, to a center that are in amplify their their importance in the metropolitan. Sorry, this is the place known as uh, Expo. Yeah, yes. now yes. this is the first name. Expo, World Exposition of 1998, now they transform the name for Parque das Nações, National, Nation, Nations Park, because I need to international integration and etc. So this is the same place and the transformation. It, it was a, a big challenge because in the past, other world 
exposition don't have this kind of success because when you look, for example, for now I don't know, but at, at the very recent times in Sevilla, for example, in Spain, the result is not so great that uh, we can find in, in Lisbon. So they don't cannot transform this old exposition space in a dynamic urban uh, space. So it was a very, very good uh, achievement for the metropolitan area. And so you can see the different kinds of, you know, only an example, hotels, so hospital, college, etc. Of course, he has some problem. Because the relation between the areas that we, where we have the exposition and the rest of the, the city, the old part of the city that already exists in the time of the exposition, the relation is not so great. So we should to improve the relation between the new metropolitan center and the, the, the old part of the city. Uh, we have a, and so a deeply border between, not only a border uh, made by the, the train line, but the border, a, a, a social and a, a, a psychological border between the, the two parts. So, but it's not so important for this discussion today, but it's important. Centers in decline. <coughs> Maybe we, have, we can have also centers in transformation, but in this case, I want to show centers in decline. When you look to, the, when, once more, for the metropolitan area, this is the, uh, what you can see, this is the, the, small, the more small administrative units that we have uh, in uh, Lisbon, uh, more low than the municipalities, what we, we call the civil parish, and we, you can see between 2001 and 2011, the population variation in, in gray, you can see that some parts, even around Lisbon, are declining. And what, what are these, these, these areas? These areas that are in decline, demographic decline. And it's interesting because it's, it was the old suburbs. And the old, the old suburbs in the 40, in the 50, we know they, they are not prepared for the, the needs that people have today. And so we can, uh, I chose for example, um, uh, the, the example of uh, uh, Seychelles. And uh, as you can see, this is the, 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 the municipality center of uh, a municipal area of the suburb of uh, the, the suburb part of Lisbon. And as you can see, this kind of uh, housing uh, are, some are uh, empty, some are not so good conditions, and because they are very, very small, don't have um, conditions for the car, for the party, for the, mo uh, uh, the traffic mobility. So we understand that now we have much more other areas for people living uh, than this, uh, this kind of space. So we understand their decline. But also, uh, they are not connected to, to, the, to the decline for the future because now also we can see that we have some modifications in the, in the way that people are looking for their mobility, mobility, for example. The, the use of the car, it's not so usual now for some people. So they have very, very good, not so very good, but they have public transport for Lisbon and to other parts, and maybe we can, maybe we can, facing this problem, this challenge, but now they are centered in the country. In, as you can see, in a lot of areas in the first wing suburbs. Not some more, more, uh, not more far away, but the, the most part is in the first ring, the first suburbs, the first place where people go living 
when they need to work in Lisbon in the 40s and the 50s. So continue because I have other things to talk. But uh, now we can starting to talking about the peripheries and the birds. And uh, we can start maybe to look to the positive polarities. Polarities or territories that can attract people every day to study, to work, etc. And for different kind of uh, use. These use can be very close together or uh, we have single use in the, the territory. Uh, I can show you an example. Once more, this is the some part of the metropolitan area. Once more, this is the, the city of Lisbon. This is the Wall Bridge, 25 April Bridge. And this is the municipality of Almada in the, the, the right river bank of the Tagus River. So when you look to this area, so it's not in Lisbon, this is in the, the first wind suburb, the first, the first uh, part of the, the city, the metropolitan center, but not in Lisbon. When you start to look into to the concentration of some facilities, so uh, here it's, it's like a, a, a state agency for the, the roads and train lines, etc. This is a hospital, a public hospital. This is the Portuguese Institute of Quality. This is the train station, a big interface that we have here. The shopping center you have here. Uh, the, the river city in this area. Sorry. Uh, when you look, and we can also find more universities and more um, activities here. I just want to show the more important. But also, we have here some housing. But it's interesting because when you look to these different uh, uh, use of the space, it's like island. It's, it's closed. People came to here to work and don't connect with the outside. People want to go to the hospital because it's a big uh, building, but they stay inside to go to the doctor and center. All of these areas so these facilities and these activities are very close uh, uh, around itself. And this is a problem. Because, and this is a problem uh, that can explain this is not a, a center. This is not a center. Because don't communicate, don't make some integration with that. We have a lot of social housing around, for example. Why we don't have commercial shops and restaurants and things that bring people to outside of this area at lunch or, or when they go and come or exit the, 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 the work and or because why not people living here also why they came from Lisbon or they came from Cascais or Wales and don't stay, don't live around this area because we have capacity to, to, uh, to housing these people and this not work like that so this is small island here, inside of a big ocean of housing and a kind of uh, use of the space. Yes, it's a positive polarity and not a real center. And this is a problem. Uh, so this is an example of the hospital that I show you. And people can and go and don't make anything wrong. Uh, I, I have shown you uh, dynamic and decline, sorry. This kind of uh, examples that I, uh, I now show you, we can call maybe dynamic, because every day we have more people go to this <coughs> to the university, to the hospital, to work in there in their activities, in these activities. And for example, this is in a wireless, uh, uh, Quinta da Fontes. Uh, Where is that? No, it's the Quinta da Fontes. No. Where? Where Google now decide to go to Portugal and they come to, to this area to work. So 
this is a, a business part if you want with different office and once more it's in dynamic because for example Google decided to come to here to this place so it's a, a signal that these areas are uh, reinforcing every day their capacity to attract activity but as you can see this is a illegal uh, area housing area and don't communicate with the exterior the external or with the surroundings people living here coming and they have restaurants they have uh, um, spaces to make exercise fitness of course we use the difference also. Um, so, but all inside don't have many relations with the, the, the salon. But also, we have some signals of decline. Also. also, in the same place, we have a very, very large campus for technology. Also in the, the, same, the same area that I show you into the phone. But uh, we have some signals here of some decline. Not a decline, not, it's not in bad conditions, but we can see that some enterprise or companies goes to this place to other places. For example, from this place to the first metropolitan center that I have shown in the first place, the expo the the exposition, whole exposition of 98, and uh, they, they made an, an urban centrality, a metropolitan center, and the centrality, so some, some companies came from here to the city center. And why this kind of um, um, polarities show some signs of the decline? I suppose that now, working the campus, Working uh, far away for the, the city center, far away for the, the urban dynamic where people work, have different activities, where, where we have urban life, it's much more interesting that work in a place very far away with others very equal, very similar, where every people doing the same thing. So, not so stimulating like if you are in the city center with a different kind of people, activities, dynamics, cultural activities, and it's so it's so important for innovation, it's so important for creativity, it's so important for the unexpected, because we our life is made with these kind of things, and it's so revolutionary, it's so so equal. And I don't know, but I suppose that the idea of, the idea of camp, this is a modern idea of use, land use, is not so interesting for, the, the, for today. And maybe we can, I don't know, we, let, let's see. But I suppose that it's, it's now we have signals, we have some, some kind of uh, tendency to, to believe it's, it's in decline, in decline. I don't know. And I need to finish, but look now, looking now to the negative polarities, the forced polarities. And this is the, maybe, the more important one, because people are obliged to go to a place that at the beginning, they don't want to, to go. And for example, I'm the, an example of this kind of uh, uh, dynamic because when when uh, um, um, married, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't have money to stay in the city center in the Lisbon, and I should to find some place to live in. And when I find this place in the suburbs. So I go to the surrounds, look into the prices, and when I find the price that I can pay, yeah, I, I stay here. But I'm forced to go to this place. 
I don't, I don't know the people that live in there. I don't have any relation with this place. I don't have any connection that this memorial place or after I like and I work in the secondary school and etc. And I really like to interact with the, the other person that living in, the, in that area. But at the first contact, it's not easy. I, I, I was a stranger in there. So I'm forced to be in this place. So it's, it's why I call the sad severe. Maybe after it's not so sad. People, the second generation, for example, the, the sons that birth, birth in these places, they feel not the same because the friends and the school and so they feel like they belong to this place. But for the, the fathers, for the first generation, it's not like that. And what kind of course it's a bird we can identify in the metropolitan area? I can show you some examples. For example, the formal housing. You can have, as you can imagine, a lot of different um, <coughs> examples. But um, for it, this is a very, very connect with the, the, the Expo 98, but the Nussons today. And this is Portel de Sacavai, also in Lourdes Municipality. And uh, because people here, it's, a, it's from the 40s, so very, very old neighborhood. People that living in this old, old factories that we have here. So if you remember, I, saw, I, I said that the, the, the Expo, Expo 98 is as made in a, a old brownfield. And the brownfield, it's a place where in the old past, we have some uh, factories. And these people work in this factory. And Utella also in the 60s and 70s also attracts people uh, because it's very close to Lisbon. The, the border with Lisbon is very close. So, for it. But why it's dynamic? Dynamic for different re reasons. One is because we have the Expo 98 here. So it's a very important metropolitan center. As you can see, we have some contamination of the dynamic around. Some. And also because we have a, a metro line that goes to airport that you have seen in the, the first or second slide. And so we have here a metro station that goes directly to the city center. So it's important to people living here because they only take the, train, the, the metro. It's a very good transport because they don't have uh, traffic uh, uh, jam or something. So we have a very, very dynamic demand here. The, the, the rents is up uh, very, very quickly here. So it's an example. I can show you many others, but dynamic. Illegal. In the metropolitan area of Lisbon, why is forced? This is illegal. It's illegal, it's not slum. It's a very good housing, normally. But why. Are you kind of sorry? Okay. Um, it's in the, in the south of the. All these areas seem like a. American city, very, very straight. And in the 60s, 50s, 60s, uh, people came to Lisbon to work because Lisbon starts uh, to have some internationalization. It needs to people to work in the city, to work in the factories, to work in the service. And so we have like a rural exodus. A lot of people came from the rural areas because the rural areas are also very, very poor. So to, uh, it's like a, a pull-push factor. One side is pull, the other side is push. You understand? So people came to him. But we are, we was, and we are a country. We don't have 
how they do to where we can put all of these people in persons. So they have different strategies. One of the strategies is uh, uh, to <coughs> find some piece of soil or grain and, and I can explain the, the process. It's, a very, it's not so illegal at the beginning because all the organization in these plots is not illegal. Uh, I can explain after. But the construction of the housing and the limitation, physical limitation of the plot is illegal. Uh, without any infrastructure, water, sewage, uh, electricity, and the, the, the people, the persons, yes, the, 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 the soil belongs to the people, so it's not so illegal, the people have the, the, the property of the soil. It's not easy to explain because it's rural, at the beginning, it's not urban area, rural area. As you know, I suppose it's the same in Turkey, yes. it's not possible to have small plots in the rural areas because if it's possible, everything is urban. So we don't have infrastructure in rural areas, and also it's not possible to have 30, uh, 3, 300 uh, uh, square meters. It's not possible to have properties with this kind of dimension. So, what, what they made at the beginning? We have a very large <coughs> property, but it's possible to buy this large property, not for one, but all of it. In this room, we can buy all of this property. We can be the owners of all of this property. It's possible, it's legal. We are all the same family, for example. Okay, uh, we have the heritage and we are now owners of this area. But I don't know what, where is the, my part. I don't have any part. I, I, I'm the owner of all this. I'm a, a part of this all. But I don't have the location. But the, the problem is because people want to know what is my part. Of course. And my part, they combine and, OK, you are in here, you are in here. And the legal thing starts. And make the, the walls to make the, the border with the, the neighborhood, the neighborhood and, and also the second illegality, to build the house. Because it's not possible, this rural area, I cannot build all the region. This is the second illegality. But they don't have any infrastructure. Roads, water, and sure. after they build some of this part, but it's interesting because now they have almost everything, but remain the problem of the illegality. Some parts are now legal, legal, legal because they need to, to make some legal process to have a development plan or other instruments in order to give some urban characteristics to these areas. Have some facilities, have to have some public space, have to some roads, have to something to give to these amazing areas, an amazing importance in the metropolitan area of Lisbon, to an ideal urban space. It's important. And after, they can uh, have the, the legalization, the formalization. Some it's not possible, because some of this housing is in a very risk area. So it's not possible to give the, the, the legal license to, to but we don't know what we can do in this place because we cannot rehouse these people because they are illegal. But if I don't rehouse these people, they remain in the same place because it's not a legal good idea to, to, uh, to expel the people from this part. So we don't know what we can do. And so it's from the 60s, almost half a century. And we don't res ever resolve this problem. It's an amazing problem, not only here, so in the north of the part of the metropolitan area, maybe with some difference. And why it's, it's dynamic? Because now we have the second generation. The second generation because uh, we, have, we have problems with the population, with some decline. 
but it's interesting to see the difference between population in the number, the number of families. The, the, the demographic the dynamic is in decline, but the number of families is increasing because of the, the family uh, fragmentation. People living alone, the divorce, and etc. Other dynamics made this different, and the housing is not for population, it's for families. Family when with one person, of course, or two persons, or etc. So we need more housing in some cases. And we have some dynamic in these areas uh, with these new families that come in to these uh, uh, housing. Uh, it's very, I, I, I don't, I, if I have internet, I can show you. Now it's different. These are single houses. First floor, second floor, very good, uh, very formal. Sorry to say this, but very, very in good condition that my house is now. So it's fantastic. Because people self built their houses. Okay? So it's very similar to other kinds of uh, illegal construction. The difference is they are own of the, 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 the property. Second, the conditions and the, the, the characteristics of the housing, it's normally, normally, it's very good condition. So, so it's not so problematic, okay? It's rural, now it's urban. It's not very good for urban structure because they don't work very good. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's not prepared, it's not planning. It seems planning, but it's not planning, planning for the, 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 the illegal homes. But, um, but not that it's not so. We need to improve the public space, for example. But it's not a, a, a deep problem. The, the problem, uh, we have several. Quinta do Conde, um, Fernão Ferro, we have a lot of, uh, but it's easy to go to the Google to see metropolitan area and you can see the difference, the, 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 the south part of the metropolitan area and you can see all the names of these neighbors. It's very, very important. And also you can put the, the street view and you can see all the, the housing inside. And you can see the the conditions of the housing. Also, we have first and second housing. This because it's very near to the beach here. Uh, we have a very, very large proportion of people that have the second, the second housing, not the first. Because some people living in social neighborhoods in the city center, and they buy in the 60s and the 70s uh, a piece of uh, land to build the second housing. So. Poor people, but they have two, two housing. Because one is social, don't pay anything, or very few. And here, because they, they work and they're self building the, the second house. And we have a lot of different kinds of, so it's not so easy to explain you in these few moments. But in decline, we, the, the, we, we, we said, we said in Portugal, uh, the housing problem is an unfinished problem. Because we have a lot of problems, and now we start a new one. Uh, and we may not only the problem of slums, so we don't have, it's like the, an example, we have a few cases, not so, not, it's not, it's important because one family is important for all of us, but in, in the quantitative, Expression is now it's not so relevant. It's a old building. Now they have also it's in the south part of the metropolitan area. They are they have also now uh, some solution for this problem, but it remains some months in order to they can move for the the new building. Now also the the new policy for housing stop, and I suppose it's a great decision to build social housing. It's it's finished for now. 
because we, we in the past, we resolved this problem in other problems, slums, for example. Slums, it's in the vertical, but also we have some slums in the horizontal. Uh, but uh, they move the families for social housing, and they concentrate the people in the social housing. And so we start a new problem. So we resolve a problem, and we start a new one. And now we see this, this question, and now the, the new policy for housing, that are, this is now in discussion, it's promote the idea of rehabilitation. The, uh, the idea of uh, to move people to the city center, to colonize the, the city center that are in decline, for example. We have a lot, as you can see, have seen uh, a lot of cities, uh, sorry, centers in decline. That don't have people. Why we should to build new new buildings for social housing? We should to use this empty housing. So the municipalities should to buy some buildings to make some rehabilitation and to bring people and mix social mix to uh, to in order to to bring urban vitality again to the city center. So. We have a lot of empty houses. It's not making any sense to build new housing, social housing for. So we don't have housing, or don't should have housing for food. We only should have housing. And so we have housing, empty housing. Why not to use for people that live uh, them? So this is uh, the negative polarity for its slum and decline. Social housing also in decline. We have a lot here from Lisbon. Now, in order to improve this area, they start to have like a the graffiti in the, in the not the facade, but in the, the lateral part of the building. As you can see, we have some uh, artistic and cultural uh, circuit, and you can see different parts. And we have, it's, it's not so, in decline because we don't want more bedrooms like that. Because they concentrate the problems also. And also because when we... When I have only one minute or two, I say. It's, 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 a, it's a important also to, to see the, uh, some results of our experience with social housing. In the, at the beginning, we want to only to move people from uh, bad conditions areas for social housing. It's only a, a model functional activity or intervention. Now we know that this is, we need to have a multifunctional or multi-proposal um, uh, intervention in econo economy, social, housing, different things, in order to not repeat, because if not, we only transfer the problem for other places. So we can go give formation, professional formation, some cultural support, some uh, economic uh, integration, I don't know, but we need to, uh, to have these different things in mind. And finally, very, very important, the social mix. It's not not so. I live in the social neighborhood in Lisbon, but the, the idea of this social neighborhood is very, very interesting because they mix different parts of the population. I have the people that work in the policy, people that are working in the, the courts, the judge, judge, professors, people that are working in industry or factory. So these mix work very, very good way. In, in my neighborhood, all the in the past. So it was a very, very good solution. The negative polarities, but voluntary, formal, and dynamic. A very good neighborhood, as you can see. The, the golf cars, the very good housing. People living in the periphery. They want to go to outside. It's in this one. But of course, you, you, you know the model of the American city. People will want to, to go from the downtown to the periphery because they, they know, they, they, they think that where is the good life, it's in the periphery. 
Okay? Okay? For me, it's not so interesting, but we have several neighborhoods like that. Uh, as you can see, where it's in surrounds, you have the other, the other kinds of housing that I have shown formal, illegal, slum, etc. But in this, in this island, <coughs> we have this fantastic. As you can see, this is the metropolitan, and this, this label that I show you in the slide, uh, the previous slide, it's here. It's like an island with the green belt around. Sorry. Sorry. And dynamic and decline. And finally, how we can have some change between these different classes. It's possible, I don't know, maybe. For example, when I look to the centers, maybe if I have some specialization of the center in some activities, maybe they can transform centers and in positive polarities. For example, like as I can show you here in Tunisia, they expel the inhabitants. They attract more hotels, more touristic activities. I don't know if it will call, can call a positive polarity because they are specialized, specialized in touristic activities. How they maybe they have uh, or sorry you can see this kind, but in Lisbon it's the same, the same challenge that we have. I don't say, I don't want to say that now they change from center to positive polarity. Is not the idea, but the risk that we can have in this change to, to lose this urban vitality with housing, people living in the night, in the day, uh, we have tourism and uh, commerce, etc. The risk, I just want to show you the risk of these possibilities. Okay. All, all examples of the, the, the world. And, uh, from positive polarity to a metropolitan center. Why not this center, that, uh, this polarity that I showed you uh, before, why not it's possible to transform this polarity in a center? Why not? So, how we can destroy the walls of all these facilities and activities in order to miss them with the housing and the other things that we have around? So, it's it's a very, very deeply challenged. Uh, once I, I work here in a social neighborhood, and we call to this word uh, Almada, because it's Almada. Uh, Almada is open city, because we want to open all this area to uh, these different uses. Now we are implementing the, the program, but it's not so easy, but it's a uh, the ambition that we should have for the future. For example, uh, this is where I was living in the past when I moved Lisbon from here, now I'm in Lisbon again. But it's interesting because this is a formal housing, it's a normal, but it's suburbs, uh, it's a forced polarity, negative polarity. And I just have this uh, image here to show you why we have this urban design, not the urban design. The urban design is because you can see all of these areas seems a, like a good thing. But all of these open areas, it's just to, to have the, the parking for the car, and the green areas just to look, not to use. Uh, because it's a it's a old um, uh, old cottage. And we have a, like a, a, a small part of this cottage in the, the north, but it's not a center. So, the first idea, this suburban area, this small suburban area, don't have a real center where people can meet each other. No way. Only buildings, only parts for the car, and some green areas that's not for the use. And so, the first idea, they don't small neighborhood, they don't have. Second, when came the facilities, for example, the health center, the, the church, the swimming pool, all these 
different facilities don't have an idea to organize the space. So maybe we can find some location for these different facilities in order to promote the center, in order to promote, uh, to promote a, a place where people want to go to stay, and this is a reference for all. No, where we find the location for these different facilities, it's where we have space. And this is not a good strategy, because we, we lost a possibility to, to build a reference space for people to have like an identity, a reference. I don't uh, find the more word. And so we have the pompier, pompiers. 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 Fire, fire. Fire, uh, fire station. Fire station. Here, sorry. Here, the school here. The health center here. The swimming pool here. And we lost the possibility. To organize the space with uh, some important facilities for this area, uh, and this is a problem. So, I don't know why this. My conclusion is only to for finish. Seems interesting to use the polarity concept as a way to replace the general idea of suburban periphery general. Now, we have different kinds of uh, centers and uh, peripheries. The use of dynamic decline metrics can be useful, but we can found other perspectives, of course. We can use this model in order to produce a new map of uh, metropolitan area and replicate, replicate the model for other areas. So, I don't have any more the center the periphery. I have different kinds of uh, peripheries or suburbs, and I have different uh, centers, and I, have, I can have different chances <laughs> within them. It's more easy to understand with this, I, I call this center uh, polarity model. So to, to give some importance to this small thing. How to, these different countries can be relative and temporary, because center and periphery are not absolute uh, references, only relative in time and in space. So it's important to know that, they, that the things can change for our attitude or in Bulgaria. Whole urban and metropolitan set wants to remain a center. I suppose it's correct. I don't know, but we can discuss. All periphery wants to be a center. I suppose not. No, just the forced polarity. People that are obliged or activities are obliged to go to, a, to some place. I suppose that they want, if they can, they want to change. I don't know, but maybe they have this possibility. The others, the voluntary, I suppose that they don't want to, to, to change. The center and periphery should not be considered as simple and unique identity. So very different. It's important to find. So this is a preconcept because I have the, the, the idea and I apply the idea for the metropolitan area. But we can make the contrary. For example, in a recent work, we made some anal cluster, cluster analysis. I use different variables in order to find the characteristics of the different space. And that after, I have the different areas using this statistic model. So we can have a preconcept, that this is the concept that I bring you today, but also we can have a false concept. You can find this article in the case study, case study and the transport policy that we have made for the Lisbon metropolitan area using some variables for transport for mobility of people living uh, far from the city center and etc. So why it's important this idea? Because, and finally, I can improve my policies and interventions according to these different kinds of peripheries and centers. Not looking for the space like a homogeneous space, and I have a policy, and I have intervention for all these spaces. It's not so interesting, because each part of this area can have problems, and the specificity is very, very different. So I can offer better policies and better interventions, different interventions, social, public space, Facebook, I don't know, a lot, more, more connect with the reality. And finally, we can discover the more urgent and important areas in order to resolve or mitigate the challenge. The challenge that and this is an idea for you today. Thank you.